Good morning, Secretary Blinken. Just a quick statement over here, please. Please. What's your reaction to the fact that we're about to allow the nuclear power plant? What about the nuclear power plant? Oh. Reinforcements into the three zones, fighters, including military personnel on the ground. I'll just stop a second. Secretary of State. Secretary of State, any word on what NATO can do next? Hello. Well, at the moment, of course, uh, we have to concentrate on Ukraine and giving our full solidar solidarity to Ukraine. But we, as Finland, have been doing, we have been, of course, donating uh, both lethal and non-lethal material to Ukraine, and we stand fully in line with the European Union solidarity to Ukraine at this moment. And, of course, it's, it's obvious that in this kind of situation, also the public opinion in Finland is, is moving and, and turning more favorably to NATO membership, but this is not the time, of course, to handle that issue. This is the time to show the solidarity to Ukraine. There are NATO members here, you represent it, and we also have Finland and Sweden as well. Now, Finland and Sweden have been working... Um, I was made aware, like many of you, about the, uh, the attack on the nuclear plant that uh, was made late in the night. I was in contact with many of the Ukrainian officials. Prime Minister Trudeau also spoke to President Zelensky late in the night. Obviously, we condemn such an egregious attack that puts the security and health of civilians at risk, not only in the city, but also throughout the region. Uh, we condemn this attack, and uh, I'll be having a conversation later this morning with the head of the International Atomic Energy Agency. We take this extremely seriously and we will raise it this morning at NATO. I think at this point we know that there is a level of irrationality uh, with Putin taking these decisions and that's why we have to take that into account when dealing with this situation. Civilians uh, are at risk right now. Canada has decided to petition the International Criminal Court um, because we think that Russia uh, needs to be trialed for crime against humanity and war crime. Are you Good morning, Minister. I personally believe that it is time to speak also about the sanctions on energy sector. I do believe that Russia still can finance its war through buying gas and oil. I understand how difficult it would be for all of us, but then let's make a choice. Do we want to have nuclear waste and then cleaning up the whole world or we are stopping Russia at all costs we can have? Nous condamnons fortement cette atteinte à l'intégrité d'une structure nucléaire dont il faut garantir la sécurité. Et nous, nous soutenons fortement les initiatives de l'Agence internationale pour de l'énergie atomique pour demander à la Russie de cesser toute agression de ce type. Par ailleurs, notre réunion d'aujourd'hui sera importante, d'abord pour marquer notre unité, unité et fermeté à l'égard de la Russie, 
unité aussi pour poursuivre l'isolement de ce pays dans la communauté internationale. Good morning, Prime Minister, and Good morning, Prime Minister.